Welcome back to Project Zomboid, and we're going to be playing Build 28, because that came out, I'd say, around a week ago. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we have our save, and we press play. Um... Not sure if, if the sound's gonna cut out here, but um, uh, I did rewatch my previous episode, the last bit, so I think I know what I'm doing. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing this episode: is going up to those houses to the uh, east. I think. I think it's the east. Uh, okay. Alright. Let's sleep, not make the same mistake like last time. Is it too early though? Um no. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So let me check my inventory. What do I have? I have spoons as weapons because we all know that's the best weapon in the game. So yeah, let's let's go here. Let's get it. What? And then yeah, I I got to I can't I can't be I can't be caught off guard to when like food and uh, water and shit start shutting off. And that's not too long actually, because I think we're about a week into the game now. And. Uh, it could be between it could be already off like it could it could be shutting off real soon like today or tomorrow because i think the last uh time the last possible date it will shut off is um at no 2 weeks after you start playing and uh that's a bit scary that means is that mean like once the water and shit starts shutting off i got to head to the farm you know i can't even do that yet because Hang on, I gotta deal with this piece of shit. Crush the head. You know, I can't even do that yet because I still need my equipment, like rakes. And I think I'm gonna need, like, all this farming equipment. And I'm gonna need the farming packets. And, to be honest, I don't even know if the farm packets last forever. Un unless you get seeds. If, if you get seeds at a progressive rate, like, I mean you earn more seeds than than you started with then um that then we're fine but if not then we're not we're screwed i'm not actually sure have i checked this house probably not so let's have a look and of course discovering new area means more zombies try to come up from them behind that that was completely grammatically incorrect fuck you die Ah, uh, walk over to its head, kick it. Oh fuck! fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh, last spoon. That's good. I I need I need to use the spoons because I just I just like I don't know about you, but I really like to use the shittiest weapons first, so I can save the better weapons for like a better time. Like let's say if I'm invading like a big ass place, I'm gonna want better weapons and I just want I just want to use all the weapons that like you can use except for like pencils and stuff cuz pencils are good for um writing shit down you know if your character gets bored or whatever but I don't know wait the episode where I read the book did my character get bored um because he was reading I'm not even sure It's actually kind of really not. It's not kind of. It's really risky to fight with this weapon. So I don't even know why I'm doing it. I'm stupid. Let's fight the. Oh shit! Now there's two of them. Okay. Yeah, I would really like to clear out the zombie shits. 
before um Wait, did my character just headbutt the zombie down? I don't know. I didn't see that very well. It kinda looked like it. That was if so, that's pretty damn cool. Oh yeah, and you can add, yeah, when you hear that sort of like brain mushing sound, that typical brain mushing sound, I think that means you just did some damage to you actually did some damage to the zombie you didn't just poke it but you like stabbed it like successfully <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense die die now, come on drop this bullshit pick up the butter knife wait the only one didn't I have more? Only one? Okay, fine. Now, the question is, should I take care of the zombies outside the house or zombies potentially inside? I guess outside because you don't want guys breaking in. Um, you don't want guys breaking in like halfway through your search. So I'm going to clear out this outside for place first. Yeah, that's freaking effective. That's damn effect. Oh shit. Mm, take that, zombie scum. Maybe I should look at this. Aw oh, yeah. Oh, and I'm almost to the next point. Wow, I didn't I did not look pay attention to this at all. I think I'm gonna go with the light footed. Because I feel like agility skills are more um more important than the other ones than like weapon skills for some reason that's what I think now we have a good weapon have to bust through hopefully no alarms please no alarms oh oh fuck oh my god that way not that caught me off guard hang on a minute unequip both hands come at me bro yeah problem with golf club look what it does high exertion Exertion? Is that what is it? Is it exertion? Or is it extortion? <sighs> what am I saying? Let's do a one circle around the house before we do that again. Clear guys like this out. But taking a good hit at the head. Come on. All right. Enter through the bedroom. Mm, probably want a more open area. That's probably dumb. So, oh yeah, you know what? Since we leveled up, bam, blade skill. No, killed seventy-two zombies. That's not bad. Okay, climb through. And oh, you are kidding me. Open. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, and then we'll take care of the guys who actually did arrive. But for now, we're going to take a walk around the neighborhood. Actually, a good idea would just go to a random house. Let's hope there's no zombies inside that random house. And uh, drink something. Let's see what I got. Feeling sad and slight panic. Oh, and we're hungry too. Oh my god. And I did already loot the food. Cause I have like I have like another like I have like a sandbox game where I just roam around and I don't store anything. I just like take a few weapons and that's pretty much it and some meds. But I don't take um I don't take um, uh, food around. I just uh, eat it from various places I stop by. Problem with that is, is that it gets friggin' old. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
kill this mofo. Painkillers, that's good. Are you actually going to get down to looting this house or what's up? Or are you going to have to kill the guys outside? That seems like a better idea. Oh yeah. More zombies. Check your corners. Battle. This is not good. Take it. I hear zombies coming through the forest. That's not good. I don't know, I'm kinda I'm a bit worried about that. I don't know if uh yeah, come on. Nope. Um let's do it because I, I I don't know if I have time, but let's go again. Cause the how house alarm did attract a few zombies. I guess it's semi-safe, kind of safe to do this now. Sure. What am I doing? Open the window. Climb through. Close. And did that zombie get in here from the house alarm or? No, of course it didn't. So I didn't leave anything open on the way out. No, I don't. I'm not gonna go into those rooms just yet, because if I'll I'll know they're there if they're banging on the doors. So we got books, magazines, sheets. Still kind of scared though. I don't, you know I it is it's probably smart to take down any kind of zombies that could be in there, but. Yeah, we're doing it anyway. Let's go. Nope. Nope. No bedroom zombies? Disappointed. Sheets. What about this? Bandages were doing fine. Actually, did I get injured in any of these fights? Nope. That would be cool. If you're playing multiplayer or something, and uh, two people were, let's say, like this close to each other, and uh, you could play cards, that would reduce boredom or something. That would be pretty freaking cool. Just a thought. Okay, seems like there's nothing in here. Close the blinds or curtains or whatever. Okay, time to loot. Nine millimeter rounds, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is good. Um, chocolates, cooking pots. We shouldn't fill it up because that makes you become really heavy. Um, yeah, dry ramen noodles, a uh, spoon, which will be uh, the new weapon, TV dinner, let's equip it, you know, oh yes, forks, butter knives, sugar, which, eh, you know, I don't think I'm going to make cakes, but let's take it anyway, I wouldn't normally take something like that, but that's fine. Bowl. Butter knife. Again, cooking pots. How are we doing on weight? Fine. Mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. And more spoons. Why did I put the mug in there? That means we, we should really get back because uh, I want to I wanna manage my shit before I'm done. 
Oh yeah, we can eat the chips actually. That's a good idea if my character is hungry. Eat the whole thing or just a quarter. Just a quarter. Yeah, but then this is like so little. This is like nothing. Okay. And the fridge has pretty much nothing in it. Okay. Butter. And lemon. And butter goes bad uh, quickly. That's my guess. Like very quickly. It's like, and on the same with milk goes bad very quickly. But processed cheese, that shit, will uh, probably last for quite a long time. Because uh, it tastes good and it's pretty much plastic, almost. Processed cheese is like almost plastic, which is pretty bad, but it tastes good. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Mm, don't want to end the day without looking around the house in case. Is this even my home? Yeah, it is. I really should have a different home. This, this, this works. I guess. Open. Close. Manage. So. Put. Things like this, and this, and that, and that, some more. Um, can you actually use this? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Not sure. You know what? Is where's the is the, is this the miscellaneous one? Where's the miscellaneous uh, cupboard? I'm guessing it's that one. Yep, because I don't think you can actually use that. Which is kind of dumb, but whatever. Magazines, painkiller, sheets, sheet of paper, sugar. Sugar goes in here. I don't even care what kind of food item it is. If it, if any any kind of food item goes in the fridge. Even if it's like not like the type, even if it's not like refrigerable, refrigeratable food, that doesn't matter. Oh my god, I wish the scrolling was faster in this game. And we have a sheet of paper. Where's like the books cabinet and stuff? Maybe it's down the other end? No? Keep going, come on. Where is it? Where do I keep all my books? There we go. Okay. Two books. A magazine. Some ammo. And we found, uh, what? Oh, shit. Already? Oh, my God. That's because of the high exertion. If you want to use any kind of, like, heavy weapons like that, your character is going to get really tired. Okay, where do I keep my bandages? Like, painkillers and shit? Where does that go? My guess is here. What the hell is in this thing, anyway? Baking pans and shit. Okay, um, okay, interesting. Well, I guess, I guess it goes in here. <laughs> what is this? Butter knives, blah, 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 blah. And now it's time to fill this shit up. Because having lots of water it's always good. We have a full kettle, four mugs of water, a pot of water, six bowls of water. That's not that much, is it? I don't think so. It doesn't seem like that much. Okay. First drink so you don't end up drinking anything in these containers. Fill the bowls. Fill this stuff. Fill the two cooking pots. I think before a specific update, like build 
21 it might have been. Um, uh, before, okay, before build 21, basically what would happen is, um, you could refill, like, the, it would, even if you fill the bowl or something, it would keep saying, would refill bowl. And uh, I think now they fix that, so, um, you don't, you don't have the same message over and over and over again. Um, so you know it's full. So if you're carrying five items, you'd know when you filled up all five items because it wouldn't ask you to refill it again. That's just, this is a minor thing they finished fixed, which is good, always good. Do 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 do. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Slightly early, that's okay. Um, but thanks for watching this episode of. Project Zomboid, and I will see you guys on the next part in some days. But that's it for now. See you later.